Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. This latest news about Meghan potentially being blacklisted from the Invictus Games anniversary service in London is just utterly delicious. This money-grabbing, Z-list hustler is finally getting a taste of her own medicine after spending years trying to hijack the royal family for her own selfish gains. I mean, it couldn't be more fitting or well-deserved that this narcissistic, spotlight-hogging biatch is getting frozen out of this event honoring sick and injured veterans. Why? Because that's exactly what she's been doing ever since conning her way into the monarchy, disrespecting and exploiting those who have actually served their country with honor. This wokish grifter couldn't care less about noble causes or public service. She just wants to use the royal brand to get rich and famous on the gullible public's dime. That Netflix reality show fiasco proved it. She'll do anything to stay relevant and milk the royal cash cow, even if it means betraying her own husband's family. And speaking of betrayal, did you see those disgraceful potshots Princess Pinocchio and her little doormat husband took at the royals in Harry's tantrum of a memoir? crying about feeling trapped in a palace with servants and jewels, playing the race victim when she's the one spewing anti-English bile. Give me a break. These two delusional clowns have done nothing but besmirch the reputation of the monarchy since exiting in a cloud of fake tears and oversized ego, all while raking in millions upon millions from their exploitative media deals smearing Harry's own relatives. They're both just absolute parasites on the royal legacy with zero class or loyalty. So you're Dan right, Meghan shouldn't be allowed within a hundred miles of the Invictus Games celebration after repeatedly crapping all over its spirit of honor and service before self. This event is for people who actually sacrifice for the greater good, the polar opposite of Miss, woke Wimbledon royalty over here. Maybe if she had spent more time in the past few years actually earning her royal stripes through charity work and public service instead of just plain dress-up princess on blogs and social media, people might take her seriously. But she's shown her true colors as nothing but a vapid, self-obsessed celeb chaser willing to burn bridges with her husband's family for a Netflix paycheck. So cry me a river, Megan. Consider this a kick of karmic comeuppance for endlessly disrespecting the institution and people who graciously allowed your L.A. loser persona into their ranks. The royals are finally serving up the cold, harsh truth you deserve by shutting you out from the very type of honorable event your personal brand has trashed. This Invictus game ceremony is about celebrating the military heroes who fought for their countries while sacrificing comfort and kin the antithesis of you and your emasculated husband abandoning duty to chase dollar signs. So save those goop-certified crocodile tears for your next Oprah Funfest, you disingenuous, entitlement-oozing phony. Because thank God the powers that be are finally allowing this vile, divisive woman's true nature as a selfish, clout-chasing grifter to be exposed on the world stage. We've all had to put up with her grotesque lack of grace, humility and honor for far too long already. The royals made the bed bringing in this talentless celebrity thirsty leech. Now they can lie in it by rightfully exiling her greedy, manipulative ass from events honoring those who've actually displayed courage and integrity. You know, the precious values the monarchy is supposed to uphold, not constantly desecrate for a buck like Princess Pinocchio and her disloyal doormat husband. So keep crying those fake activist tears into your millions, Megan. This Invictus Games blacklisting is the cold hard proof the world sees through the merciless narcissist hiding behind that phony progressive princess decide. You're not representing anyone's voice but your own insatiable ego and bank account. Maybe next time you'll think twice about exploiting people and institutions infinitely more honorable than your thirst-trapping persona because you're getting exactly what you deserve. Megs, the world seeing you for the self-serving, opportunity-chasing sham you truly are. Now that's what I call achieving your voice and visibility all right, just not the kind you imagined from that Sunshine Sachs PR team. So, what do you guys think about this news, guys? Sounds off in the comment and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.